So, Father Bernie, tell me about the project and how it became, how it got into being. Well, um, let me start by saying um, Alicia, a um, very good friend of the shrine, mm -hmm. donated eight beautiful angels that are now hung up in the church. Um, so, Alicia, okay. tell me about yourself and how you got connected to the shrine to start. Well, as Father Bernie said, I connected to the shrine through a donation that I made. And what made you want to do that? Well, it was a commission. Mm -hmm. Someone commissioned me to okay. paint 12 angels. Mm -hmm. But these 12 angels are not the traditional angels. Right. They have their own meaning, and they are very modern mm -hmm. and very different mm -hmm. from a, an icon that right. we know right. as an angel. But um, this guy died, mm -hmm. and I kept all the angels, <laughs> 12 of them. So I started looking for a place for the angels, right. because they are gorgeous, they mm -hmm. are fantastic, they are big format, full color, painted in gold. So I went to Attleboro Museum. Mm -hmm. I am a member of the Attleboro Museum of mm -hmm. Art. And Mim Fawcett, who is the curator of the museum, right. I, 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 I told her, I don't know what to do with this angel. Mm -hmm. I need a good place for them. And I donated two pieces to the museum. Mm -hmm. And she said, I'm going to connect you with Father Pat. Father Pat. Right. Mm -hmm. So we made an appointment with Father Pat and I said, okay, this is the collection that I would like to donate. And he said, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. And um, they are in, on display in the, right. in, in the church. So that was the first link. Mm -hmm. That was the right. first link. Every Christmas, I passed by the story of, of St. Nicholas, mm -hmm. and it was about old um, wooden panels, all wooden, eight of them. Right. And uh, I told Father Bernie, would you be interested in a renovation, yeah, to update. The, an mm -hmm. update mm -hmm. to, the, to the story of St. Nicholas? And he said, okay let's do something. Mm -hmm. And I presented them to the board. I used to be an illustrator mm -hmm. for children books in my homeland, Colombia, right. 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. That was part of my job. Um, I have a degree in um, architectural drafting mm -hmm. and interior design. Right. But I, use, I, I work as an illustrator a lot. So for me, that was such a joy right. to do that job such a joy mm -hmm. and it came out beautifully yeah. it came out fantastic for christmas there was a display of the story of saint nicholas mm -hmm. that had been done years ago it was kind of like needed to be redone repainted so we said well maybe alicia could do that right on her spare time and um so she did that and matter of fact they're up now in preparation for the christmas lights mm -hmm.
after she did that, it was like, well, how are we going to keep Alicia busy? <laughs> because she offered to help. One thing that's going to take a long time to do is redoing the museum to make it more attractive. And um, so I spoke to Alicia and I brought her in here. And wow, it's overwhelming because I don't know how many thousands of nativity uh, sets we have. Right. We call them creches uh, from the French. And um, uh, when she saw this, there was a lot of beautiful pieces, but that they were so much together mm -hmm. that you really couldn't see one enjoy each one individually. Mm -hmm. No, this one is I like that Father Bernie was pointing to this earlier. No, but this, no. no. She wants a warmer palette. Warmer palette, exactly. And yeah. it's going to be more classic because we have all of the curios and cabinets. Right. We're going to get rid of the most of them. But I want to keep it classic. It was overwhelming. Yeah, so yeah. you're going to make this room similar to the south. Um, no. Well, every time that I pass by, I just look up through the window and I say, oh my God, this is amazing. This is absolutely overwhelming one thing on top of the other. What color? What is your color? <laughs> well, some color maybe. This whole cabinet is almost. Oh, oh, the lady game. The lady that gave it. So basically, next year. This is going to be warm. Like a yellow orange. Well, I cannot give you exactly the color. <laughs> when are you going to start on, the, on this one? Um, maybe February 2nd. February 2nd, yeah. And it starts with this. And this is the original nativity scene that we used in 1953, wow. uh, the first Christmas. Uh, you can really appreciate uh, every single nativity uh, set for what they really truly really are. Right. So, so maybe we'll take a first peek inside the new facility. So it was very cluttered. Things were on top cluttered. of each other. Cream. Great so, pieces, but you couldn't appreciate Well, them. this was the thing. We started doing this on May 9th, I remember the day. Mm -hmm. When I started digging up the, the figurines and classify them, I gradually discovered through works of art. Mm -hmm. Through works of art. Through works of art, mm -hmm. through works of art, and I said to myself, "This, this is precious, mm -hmm. because there are nativity set, artistic and cultural expression right. from all over the world." Mm -hmm. From Kenya to Alaska, yeah. from Peru to Japan, mm -hmm. and, and they have their own identity. And um, well, I started to classify them. Mm -hmm. I moved everything to the deposit across the hallway. Right. If it wasn't for Alicia, uh, certainly we would not be right. where we just today. And um, strip the walls. Strip the walls. We did that together. <laughs> we did that together.
each, you know, from every country, they depict the major scene in their own culture. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Like in Africa, most of the uh, sets and crushes are black mm -hmm. and oftentimes dress as they would be in right. their culture. Mm -hmm. That's really the, the drawing point to this museum, yeah, I think is that, that is, you're representing cultures yeah, that is and activity the scenes yeah. throughout the world. The world. Yeah. Do you know how many countries are represented? Oh. 71. 71 so far Okay. in the other room, because right. we haven't labeled everyone in this room, but mm -hmm. I would say maybe close to 100. Right. So this is really one of the largest okay. international crush museums in the world, potentially. Representing cultures yeah, and activity the scenes yeah. throughout the world. the world. Yeah. And it's my understanding, like Mary apparition, Mary and apparition throughout the totally. world. She appears to people in their native dress, right. their native skin tone, mm -hmm. right, etc. So that maybe they could relate more yeah, to uh, Lady Guadalupe for right. instance. Exactly. In the sixteen hundreds, she mm -hmm. uh, actually she she was dressed like an Aztec uh, empress, right. uh, the Aztec people. Mm -hmm. The word that comes back to me so often at Christmas is Emmanuel. Right. God with us. Mm -hmm. Not God used to be with us 2,000 years ago, but God is with us uh, every day, uh, every year, in every country. That's uh, the idea of bringing Christ uh, up to us today. Right. Father Manuel Pereira, I was going to ask you. Uh, mm -hmm. um, he's uh, was many years here at the shrine. He's from the Azores, and he brought that Azorean uh, tradition uh, to the museum here. Mm -hmm. And you see his work uh, here and there all over the place. Um, in the other room, uh, you will find a uh, Percipio that he did. As you walk into the new museum, this is almost one of the first pieces you see, which is absolutely amazing. So tell us about this Precipia. It's an Italian word, and in Italy, uh, it's been a long tradition. And the idea of the Precipio is to bring Christ uh, in everyday life, um, the manger scene in everyday life. Christ uh, was born for us. So the idea of Precipio is um, well, when, for instance, let's just use this as an example. This is a depiction of St. Michael Island and part of one of the islands of the Azores. So you see there the ordinary day life of the inhabitants of St. Michael's. You have the processions, the religious processions, but then you have the representation of uh, the farmers, uh, the bakers, the winemakers. Um, all the, the fishermen, of course, it's an island, so you have here uh, the boats coming back from their, their fishing, 
that there's the horse there in the milk wagon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it just, you know, every little thing, you know, yep. is a display. Um, the, the musicians of a town meeting, mm -hmm. you know, you look and it's a, a religious procession up up there, you know, and of course, it's, and so, and, and of course, everything leads up to the, uh, to the birth of Christ. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So is this something that Father Manuel put together? Oh yes, he did the whole thing. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we have here a little right. bit of information mm -hmm. about him. And that's the one thing that was here. Right. We did not yeah. touch this. We didn't want to to kill his legacy. Right. Because he was like the cornerstone of this right. museum. And, and at the end, well, well, the, the museum honors, mm -hmm. honors the diverse of uh, artistic mm, and expressions and right. cultural expressions yeah. mm -hmm. united in one thing, single thing, right. which is the nativity. Mm -hmm. I think this is precious is. And, and worth preserving. Mm -hmm. I come here as an artist right. and I come here as a mm -hmm. volunteer right. and as a it's, it's quite a challenge mm -hmm. that I just enjoyed every minute of right. it. No, it was it was a team effort because right. you know Adam yeah. and, and Dennis and mm -hmm. the carpenters, the electricians, and yeah. the, the guy who did the floor. It was mm -hmm. it was a team effort. So when you stand in this room today, after knowing what it was on May eighth, say. What are your feelings? I'm going to tell you something that maybe you all are going to laugh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me. No, but after the work that I have done here, the continuity of coming every single day mm -hmm. to share with all of the pieces of the nativities, right. I feel that we are all friends now. Mm -hmm. So every time at the end of the of the of the whole process, every time that I came in, I go like, "Hello Kenya, how are you? <laughs> I miss you so much. Hello right. Argentina. Mm -hmm. Oh, you look beautiful today." We made a relationship. Right. We yeah. made a relationship mm -hmm. with it. and I feel that, that this I'm part of this and and, and it's, it's a good legacy, a wonderful Absolutely. legacy that I will mm -hmm so proud of. Right. I told Bernie this has been one of the most rewarding projects on mm -hmm. my life as an artist. That's wonderful. The International Creche Museum is located at the Our Lady of La Salette Shrine in Attleboro, Massachusetts. The museum will be open to the public during the shrine's Christmas events this year between Thanksgiving Day and New Year's Day. Father Bernie said to me, you are the person that can help me <laughs> to renovate the museum. Right. With your help, right. we also intend to do the second room in 2023. With your help, meaning encouraging donations to the shrine. Yes. Right. <laughs> if they want to, if they want to pray too. Right. <laughs> <laughs>